I generally advise my patients that you'll see a significant amount of swelling in the leg. Usually it seems to be about six, seven, eight days after we do your uh, total hip or total knee. Um, the swelling can be concerning to, depending upon the degree and depending upon the patient. I always advise my patients that um, if the swelling is painful, the pain is discrete or separate from the site of surgery, that's something that they should be concerned about and they should call us. Uh, if the swelling seems to only get progressively worse with no evidence, no evidence of improvement when you ice or elevate the leg, those are things that should worry us. We should be contacted with those problems um, to at least have a discussion. Many times we'll, we'll worry about something like a blood clot in the leg and we may end up ordering a test like an ultrasound. 99 plus percent of the time that test is going to be negative, but with that constellation of findings we need to be very cautious about how we proceed. Most of the time when the swelling comes on at six, seven, eight days, by the time they come in for their first wound check at, at 10 to 14 days, it's already starting to subside. Some patients will still have problems uh, with swelling out, out farther than that. A lot of that depends on their other medical conditions. What's their cardiac function? Have they had previous surgery to the legs affecting the veins? Um, do they have any kidney issues? So there are some individual factors that affect the swelling to, to each individual patient, most of which can be managed and, and controlled pretty well.